Welcome to Oroville Radio. Welcome from Nadia to Gloria Campaner. Hello. Welcome, Gloria. Thank you so much. There was a lot of art and interest in uh, different types of expression in my in, in my family, but definitely not music. And so I started completely by chance by actually playing with my neighbors. And we rented a piano and then they told they told my mom that they thought there is a gift in me, you know, like a kind of prodigy. I could play everything at the beginning and everything was by ear and you know I could hear absolute pitch and so at the beginning it was very easy. When then, then when I had to start to study and start to learn the score and learn, learn how to read the notes, then it was really <laughs> starting to be really difficult. This is the year of Beethoven, it's the anniversary, 250 years, so and it's a fantastic, strong composer, so I thought, okay, I would bring like two beautiful sonata to this place and, uh, and, and try to dedicate the evening to the light, to the light of the moon and the moonlight and, and uh, nocturne, so Respig is a nocturne, then Claire de Lune is also like, of course, it's about the moon, the, the light of the moon over a over water and then moonlight sonata by Beethoven so it's a kind of night night moment yeah, so lunar night atmosphere. yeah lunar atmosphere and very gentle and of course with a lot of passion also because you will see it. Beethoven is in a way also heavy metal of classical music so <laughs> it's really like his yeah it's really there are some moments that you think oh wow are we in a club such or a in contemporary a, yes thing. such contemporary didn't publish very many albums because I somehow have a difficulties in believing in like studio recording so I I decided that maybe I prefer sometimes that when there is a very good concert, live concert that maybe had some meaning for me, I started to believe, okay, we can just take this as, you know, like a photograph of this moment and then keep it for the future. So this is what I did. So let's say my, my CDs are mainly like a moment of live music that is kept and uh, kept in time. For me, it's important to just, you know, the more you open your, your view and you like you widen your widen your, your spectrum of, of expression, then really the more you learn. And when I go back to my maybe my most beloved music, which is anyway interpreting some great scores of classical music, I do believe that this is my main mission. But with so much enrichment and nourishment from other people because I meet so amazing artists, so then I can collect uh, this and, and share it better, share like a real message of love and, and you know, benevolence and compassion. So this, this was important for me. I just thought this is a way to like nourish my soul and kind of grow. And when we grow, uh, we are safe. 